In this video, you will learn how you can use Facebook lead ads with Pavli Connect. So guys, Facebook is widely used for advertisement and lead generation purpose. And in this video, I'm going to show how you can create a Facebook lead ad form to generate leads from Facebook ads and how you can connect the Facebook lead ad form with Pavli Connect so that you can automate the collection of leads from Facebook into any other application like any spreadsheet, any CRM or any database. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So here you can see on my screen, this is my Facebook page named as Pabli. Okay. So before running any ad, you must have a page on Facebook. And I assume that you probably know how to create a page on Facebook. Okay. So if you have a page, after that, if you want to run an ad, what we are going to do before creating an ad, we are going to create a lead generation form, which we can embed in our ad so that we can generate leads from that ad. Okay. For that guys, on the left hand side panel, you will find this manage page section. Okay. And here you will find this meta business suite under more tools option. Before this, you might have seen that there was a option called as publishing tools here, but all the features of publishing tools now are on meta business suit. Okay. So you have to open meta business suit. Okay. And so this is a uh, meta business suit. Okay. And here you can see it is showing all these options here, planner and ads and insights. Okay. So before going to ads, we have this all tools option, click on all tools and under all tools, you will find this, uh, you will find these options available here and under this uh, advertise section, you will find this instant forms option. Okay. So click on instant forms and here guys, you can create a lead generation form. Okay. So you can see these are how the forms will appear when you create one. So for creating the form, you will find this create form button on the top right corner. You just have to click on it. And here it will ask if you want to duplicate an existing form or create a new one. So let me show you the new one. So I'm selecting new one and click on next. And here it will ask for the forms name. So you can give any name here. So I'm giving the name as lead, lead form. Okay. This is our form. And then it will ask for selecting the form type. So we have two types here, more volume form. So this is a quick form which can be submitted on mobile device and a higher intent form in which people can review their form after filling the form. So I'm just selecting more volume right now. Okay. Then it will ask for the introduction. So if you want in the introduction section, you can see you can upload a background image for your form. Okay. So you can upload an image from here or you can use the image of your ad. So you are, go, uh, you are going to embed this form in your uh, ad that you are, that you're going to create. So this, if you, you select this option, the image will be uh, selected from your ad only. So I'm selecting this option here, use the image from your ad, right? And here you can see you, you can provide a short greeting here. Whenever the form is going to appear, you can provide a short greeting to your leads. Okay. I'm just, removing this step also i'm removing greeting i'm just going to show you the basic demo of the form and here you can see we have this question so it gives you two default questions one is the email address and the full name of the person these are the default questions it will give you you can add more questions by clicking on add questions and here are the type of questions a short answer question or a multiple choice question so let's say you want to know about the gender of the person uh, who is filling the form. So you can select multiple choice and here you can type the question as gender. What is your gender? I'm just putting gender in a question mark and here I'm uh, filling the possible answers female and male. Okay. Right. So that's how you can add the options, right? Okay. If you want to add more questions, you can use this button and here it is asking for the description. So let people know how the information they give you will be saved. Uh, they give you will be used or sh shared. Okay. 
So if you want to provide the description of how you are going to use the information that you're asking from your leads, you can put it here in the description field. Okay, so you can see the examples uh, from this uh, see examples link. You can uh, just put the descriptions like this. We'll use your information to send you weekly newsletters or we'll use the information to contact you about your events. So you can just put the reasons why you are collecting the information. So that will increase the credibility of the form that you are creating. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this uh, just to show you the demo. Okay, and I'm going to paste it here in the description. Okay, here you can see you can add more categories. So here we have email and full name field that uh, that was the default fields we have. And if you want to use uh, demographic questions like the date of birth, marital status, military status, you can use these options. If you want to ask about the job title, you can these you can use the work information fields and the national number ID fields if you want. Okay, right now I'm just leaving this as it is. Here in the privacy section, guys, you have to add a link of the privacy policy your company or you, your business follows. Okay, so you here you have to add a link of the privacy policy uh, that you have for your business. So you probably you have a website of yours. So you can just copy the link of the privacy policy section of your website and put it here. Let me just put this privacy policy of Fably Connect here in this link field okay you can provide a disclaimer also if it if the information you are asking is for any legal uh, functions or if you are into something legal business you can provide a disclaimer here here you can see the completion so this is what uh, the leads are going to see when they submit the forms you can put it here thanks you are all set in the description you can write this you can visit our website so you can customize this form according to you and here you can provide a call to action button also call to action buttons are these called of buttons by which uh, you can redirect your leads to any website or to do anything or to make any action like you can if you are running an e-commerce store you can forward the leads to your store to purchase something okay so you just have to select the uh, action button here and here you can write you can write what should appear on that button like this view website or if you want to just uh, write shop now or if you're having a uh, or contact us okay so if whatever you want to put you can put it here okay and here in the link you can provide a link of your website your e-commerce store and or you can just type your email address here okay whatever you want to do so i'm just typing my website here that is pabli.com okay so this will appear here in the uh, uh, when our leads are going to click on contact us button all right so after filling all the details you can click on publish or you can click on save draft so i'm just clicking on save draft here okay so here it is asking, are you sure you want to please the close the lead form? Yes. Okay. I am saving this form in the draft section right now. Okay. Now guys, before adding this form or connecting this form with the Facebook lead ad, which is, which is the next step after creation, the lead generation form, we are going to connect this form and the lead uh, and the page with Pabli connect so that we can automate the collection of leads beforehand before running the ad okay so for that let's jump to the dashboard of public connect application so here it is here you have to click on create workflow button to set up any automation workflow here i am giving the name of this workflow as facebook lead ads okay and here i am clicking on create button and the workflow page will load up like this and here you will find these two modules i think you are familiar with these the trigger and the action so trigger starts the workflow and action is the automated response or the consequence of the trigger so guys to collect leads from facebook we are going to connect facebook lead ads in the trigger section okay so as and when you are going to generate a lead in real time this is going to trigger the workflow and the action can be anything like send the lead to Google Sheets, send the lead to any CRM or anywhere. Okay, so you can connect another applications here in this action step. First of all, 
you have to search for Facebook lead ads here. You can see, select this. And in the trigger event, you have to select this new lead instant option. So this triggers the workflow instantly whenever a new lead is submitted in the specified lead generation form associated to your Facebook page. Okay, select this option. Then click on connect. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook lead ads. So it might bring you to the login window if you're not logged in on Facebook, or if you're logged in, it will just ask you to continue. It will show you your username and then you can click on continue to get connected with Facebook, okay? So here you can see we got connected here and here it is asking to select the page's name now, okay? So from this list, you have to select the page on which you have created the form or, or on which you are going to run the Facebook ad, okay? So my page is this, I have already shown you, named as Pavli. So I'm going to select it from here, like this. Then it will ask for the lead generation form. So the lead generation form we have created and which is in the draft is this lead form, okay? So let's see if it is appearing here. So it is not appearing here, okay. So I think the published forms appear here. So let me just publish this form. Let me open it and click on publish. All right, now it is showing up in the published form section. Now let us, uh, let me refresh this field here and let's see if it appears here right now. Okay, and here you can see the lead form started appearing here. So you just have to select it, okay? Now here you can read the instructions. Please note that after clicking the save and send test button, you will need to make a sample submission of your lead generation by clicking on preview form. So what is this? What it is written here? So guys, you have to open Facebook lead at testing tool now by which you can generate a test lead manually, which will be captured here in this response section. And with the help of that test lead, we are going to set up the automation further. So guys, uh, to do that, you can just click on this step by step guide link available here. So when you click here, you will reach the forum section of Pavli, forum.pavli.com and here you will find the written instructions along with screenshots to make you clear how you can create, uh, generate a test lead to set up the automation. So here you can see we have the link of Facebook lead at testing tool. So you just, you just can click here and you will reach the testing tool page. Okay, and from here you have to select your Facebook page from this page option like this I'm selecting Pavli and then it will ask the about the form so from here you can select the lead generation form that you have created and by clicking on this preview form option you can see your form that you have created so this is how the form is going to appear uh, when the person is going to click on my Facebook ad okay right and we have asked the gender the email and the full name Okay, so by filling this form right here, you can create a lead. So guys, by filling this form, you can create a test lead, okay? But before filling this form, you have to go to the workflow and here you have to click on save and send test request button and it will start showing waiting for the uh, lead generation response, okay? Here you can see it started showing waiting for the webhook response. This means now we can perform a test submission. So let me fill in the form here. I'm so guys, I have filled the form like this. You can see I've selected gender male. This is the email. This is the full name. And here I'm clicking on next. Okay, then I'm clicking on this is the privacy policy page. Okay, here I'm clicking on submit. And here you can see it is showing thanks, you're all set. Right. And here we have this contact us button that we have added. And when I'm going to click here, it will bring me to the pavli.com website that I've entered. Let me show you that also. So this is the call to action button I have added and here you can see it will redirect me to uh, the link that I have added here. All right, so here you can see we have landed on the uh, pabli.com page from this call to action button that we had here, right? So uh, now you can close this and a new lead has been sent. You can see, you can read it here. Let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured and here you can see guys, we got the data captured here like this. It is showing us the gender, the email, the full name, everything is here. Okay, so that's how we can capture the details of a lead. And now we can send this data to
to any other application using this action step. So guys, if you want to send this data to Google Sheet, you can connect with Google Sheets here like this. Okay, here you can see Google Sheets option. Or if you want to use any CRM, you can search for it like this Agile CRM or Grow CRM or any other Fluent CRM. Okay, so we have many applications here as you already know about it. And this is how you can use Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. Thank you so much for watching this video.